Hey everybody, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. I just bought the domain programcity.org and I'm going to build a very, very small HTML and CSS website and then I'm going to upload it to the cPanel and make it so that it's live on the internet. Let's get started. Okay, so I've got the Google domains open. This is where I want to change the name servers. I'm going to first off go to my hosting company. I use shared hosting with SiteGround. I also like Bluehost. Um, and so I'm going to go to the panel here. So right, this is cPanel. Uh, after you've loaded up cPanel, you can do add-on domains. <clears throat> uh, the do new domain name is going to be the same as what it is here. So we're using, we're, I'm going to do program city. I generate a password and then I click add domain. Now you can see that it's been added. If I search for it here, I'll see that it pops up here and you can manage redirections and these sorts of things from the panel. I'm going to go back to the home and now what I want to do is get the name servers. So now what's happened is my shared hosting is ready to accept the domain that is that I purchased from Google. And now I'm going to set the domain so that it has the name servers, meaning that it's pointed to my hosting company. And to do that, I'm going to find here, set, I've got the name servers. I bring over here, I go to the DNS, I go use custom name servers, and then I paste the first one in, and then I also paste the second one in. Okay, this is great. Now I'm done with Google. This is going to take a while to propagate, so I shouldn't expect this to pop up right away. Sometimes it takes a day or two. But what I can do now is start thinking about how I'm going to build the site. So I'm back at the cPanel, and now I want to press Command F. I'm going to look for um, File Manager. I use Command F to find things quickly. If you roll down here, you can click the File Manager, and then we're here. Now what I'm going to do is look into public F or uh, public HTML, and then I should see Program City here. Here it is, programcity.org, and so this is the live file. So my goal here is to write a very small little boilerplate website that is that I'll be able to upload into this file. So let's get started on that. First off, I'm going to open the terminal. I'm going to change directories to the desktop. And then I'm going to make a, fo a folder called Program City. I'm going to change directories into the program folder. And now I have the website. Uh, I want to first off start with an index.html file. So I'm going to touch index.html. And now if I list what's in there, you can see that there's a new file called index.html. For this website, I'm only just going to build this index file. And so I'm going to open that and Adam pops up. Okay, Adam is my text editor. To do this, I'm just going to type in some HTML5, which is um, the way that we're making all applications in 2018. First, just set the HTML tag. And then we're going to need a head and a body. Inside the head, we want to specify the uh, character type, care set, and we make that UTF-8. This is all from the HTML, Head First HTML5, which is a great book that I read and that really helped cement how to write HTML. So this is all HTML5 specific. This is the title of the website. This isn't going to be actually show up on the website, but it will show up in terms of Google and things like that. It'll actually be right here. The title of this here is cPanel File Manager V3. And so what we're going to make this one is uh, Program City. Okay. Um, and the first thing that we're going to want to write in here is just a quick H1 element, just to test to make sure that everything's working. I'm just going to write in here, Program city. If I save this, I've saved this file and now I'm going to come over here 
and I'm going to open the index file by pressing com open dash a Google Chrome that means I'm selecting the application in which I'm going to open it and then I'm going to press index at HTML so now we can see we've got it loaded <clears throat> um, the first thing we're going to do is style this element a little bit so I'm going to make the this in the style element I'm able to write in CSS so I'm going to write in heading one and I'm going to make the font uh, family sans serif and then for Dan and then I'm also going to text align center Okay, so now if I save my add my text editor and then I refresh in my index file, my locally saved index file, I should see that it's updated. This is great. Um, the next thing that I'm going to want to do is create a list of links in which people can see it. So I'm going to say Program City is place for people to learn to program. And because this website is supposed to just direct people to our YouTube channel, we're going to link people to there. Now, as you can see, it's over on the left side when we want this all to be centered. And so what I can do is go back to the style element. Instead of doing text align center on the H1, I can do it to the body, which will make it so that um, all the text is aligned that is within the body. Okay. And now what I want to do is create a link to the YouTube channel. Now, the first off, if I want to have YouTube be a link, I just do uh, anchor and then href and then the URL. The href just means that this is when you get when you click the YouTube link, it goes to this URL. And then I'm going to do target equals underscore blank. So that if somebody clicks there, they go open a new window. And then I'm also going to do an out equal to learn to program. This just shows up on Google so that uh, Google recognizes that this page is about learn to program. And then I'm going to close the link here. And so now if I save this and I go back to Program City, you'll see that it's a link. And if I click it, it opens up the YouTube channel in a new page. Welcome to Program City. My name's... Okay, so now that we have... a uh, file that we can upload that will work. I don't need to do this anymore. This is obviously the most simplest website that you could imagine, but this is just a start kind of a holder place to drive people to the YouTube channel and just to make sure that I have the website up and running. So I'll come back to the program file manager and I'm going to upload the file which is on my desktop and it's in program city. It's this index file. So I open that and you see it's complete now. And so I'm going to go back. We see that Program City is here. And now when we go to programcity.org, we should see it. There we go. So we've just dispatched the website and actually had it show up live using uh, HTML and cPanel. Pretty easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was useful. Uh, please subscribe and I look forward to producing more of these videos. Let me know if there, you have any questions. I'd love to answer questions for anybody. Thank you for watching.